Greetings, <coughs> metal community. It's Roger back with another video. Uh, collection of data, as always, or almost always. Spectrum Amortis out of Spain with their uh, new album. Uh, yeah, came in the mail. Uh, yeah, four or five days ago. Killer, killer album. Uh, top ten uh, album for me this year. Um, I know I say that a lot, but my list will be. Pretty different from my summer lists. Uh, I only showed 10 then, but uh, yeah. Seen a lot of people um, already show their lists. Mine will come in uh, January. I don't see the point in, um, you know, giving them out now because there's a good uh, time left to check out the albums one more time and uh, get a proper listen to uh, some, some of them that you have kind of forgotten. I might do my black metal list um, before New Year's Eve because uh, that's kind of already done. But uh, we have to wait and see. Uh, the title of this is um, something uh, the uh, incantation. Uh, great kind of this uh, black and death doom in a way. Massive wall of sound. Uh, excellent deep. Uh, cavernous vocals and uh, yeah just a fantastic album 39 minutes of uh, pure uh, evil joy for me and as uh, you know great booklet cool poster everything is uh, perfect on this release and I finally got the um, Dreadlord album in the door uh, just played this a couple of times but it sounds really good uh, never kind of checked out Druid Lord before properly. I don't know why. Kind of the logo and uh, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of um, you know normal Doom. Not that I'm against normal Doom, but uh, yeah, it's just been one of those bands that I have put off checking. But uh, yeah, great Death Doom. Um, nothing more to say about it. Uh, for now, uh, I need to spin this more, but uh, the first two listen was a uh, very um, positive experience for me, so um, go and check them out. The uh, label inside. On a uh, great black vinyl. And I finally uh, got, this has been long overdue, but I kind of postponed this, uh, it is on Euclid Blast, and yeah, but the new Belfagor, The Devils, another great uh, release by Belfagor, they do their thing, and they do it very well in my opinion, uh, nothing new, nothing, uh, you know, spectacular on this album, uh, Black Vinyl, Center labels as well because they are cool. Yeah, as I said, you know, uh, everybody knows Belfagor, so black and death metal. I've been around since the early 90s. And uh, yeah, very, uh, very pleased with this. Uh, I mean, it's it's ex as expected. I, th I do think the slower songs kind of are better than the faster songs, but um, overall it's just a, um, yeah, great Belfagor release. Then I show the um, first album by this band, uh, was his last video or something, Polluted Inheritance uh, Betrayed. This is their second album that came out in 96, I think. I'm not betting my life. From uh, the Netherlands, uh, this album compared to the previous one is more progressive and technical. Not much, but uh, it has evolved. But another great album. Uh, it, it is of that era, you know, a mid-90s uh, kind of technical death metal. Uh, I still like the uh, Echo Side album uh, more, 
that's kind of more, uh, yeah, the early death metal feel to this is uh, a little bit lighter the vocals are a little bit um, kind of trashier in a way but uh, uh, still a great album and they did release an album in 2001 but I have not I don't think I ever listened to that one so uh, I need to check that one out as well but um, Polluted Inheritance is kind of one of those bands that are uh, overlooked uh, or um, people don't know uh, enough about uh, go and check them out they are great links will be up below as always and i uh, got this into the house motus uh, among the lost uh, kind of demo compilation just nice to have you know it's five songs plus an intro uh, good to have it in the collection i'm a big fan of uh, motus so uh, Of course I needed this one as well. Another old one that I do have on the original CD, but I always wanted a vinyl edition of Resurrection. Um, and Bond Existence, great, great album. I mean, some people are annoyed by the talking uh, narrative between the songs, but uh, yeah, I'm just used to it. Um, love this album when it came out. Uh, back in the days and I uh, still think it's a great, uh, you know, uh, it is uh, of the Floridian death metal. Um, I'm sure a lot of, all, all of you guys have heard this band, so I'm um, not gonna waste any much time to talk about this release, but um, yeah, just cool to have it on, uh, on vinyl. Great, great uh, death metal from the uh, what was the year '92, produced by Scott Byrne. This is a Hammerheart reissue. Hammerheart do uh, really uh, put out a great, uh, you know, a great deal, of, great chunk of great uh, albums on reissue. And also one that finally got into the door is new Phobophobic been waiting for this uh, and uh, developing uh, absurdity yeah Fogopholic is uh, out on prosthetic uh, kind of uh, yeah this meat and potato death metal uh, this is just uh, no nonsense death metal I think it's great uh, really it, it puts a smile on my face uh, uh, it's kind of leprophiliac as well you know it's just fucking great death metal uh, no nonsense there's no need to do anything special it's just quality riffing uh, good production great vocals uh, as i said this is a very enjoyable record i played this a lot when it came in the door and uh, yeah will it make my top 20 list i don't know uh, but it's it's good enough it's just there are so many great albums this year so uh but i will give it a couple more spins and uh, it might it deserves a place in the top 20, but um, you never know. A great, great death metal. Yeah, then I had to also have this on vinyl. Uh, it's the uh, Trooper EP by Sentenced. Um, this, um, I do have this on original CD, but the, this has some um, demo stuff attached to it. That's the main reason why I bought it on vinyl. Uh, not a big fan of cover in general, but uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, yeah, as I said, demo stuff on the B side, which is uh, fun to have. Then I bought a split uh, by two uh, Chilean bands. I have to have some Chilean metal in my uh, videos. Ripper, Paranormal Waves, and uh, the other band is uh, Venus Torment with um, Ultraviolent Fragments of Self. This is Death Trash. Both bands are in the same uh, way. And you have this ups upside down thing when you turn the cover, so uh, that's cool as well. Uh, I'm a big fan of Ripper. Love their uh, deathy thrash metal uh, or uh, trashy death metal. Uh, the vocals are a little bit more towards death than thrash, I think. But uh, both of these bands are great and a great split. Um, these are. Uh, 
Venice Torment stuff was uh, originally recorded in 19, I think, and has been self-released. Uh, the Ripper stuff, I don't know if that's leftovers from the uh, previous album, but uh, great death trash both of them. So if you're into that stuff, you know, uh, I know a bit like uh, Beneath the Remains Sepultura in a way. You have that South American um, nice vibe. Then to the biggest disappointment this year, uh, kind of heard uh, negative things about this album and uh, lowered my expectation. I did uh, pre-order this and that's the new Racer. And uh, this is very disappointing in my uh, ears. Uh, the drumming on this is fucking boring. Um, of course, when the riffs are Montonius, uh, what can the drummer do? But I, I think he could uh, put on a little bit better effort. I mean, the album is just as ugly as this uh, vinyl color. It probably looks white on the camera, but it's kind of a uh, fluorescent green, crappy looking vinyl. Fits the music. Um, I'll play this twice and uh, I don't think I will play this anymore. As I said, it, it, this kind of one beat on every song almost uh, feels like that anyway. It just gets so tiresome. The vocals are a bit uninspired, I will say, uh, to be a racer album. Uh, but you know, they're not young men anymore. Uh, riffs are kind of okay, and, and there are some good riffs here, but but I, the, the drumming and uh, just killing it, it's kind of flat and boring. And I'm sorry to, yeah, take a little piss on this album, but uh, I'm a big racer fan, and uh, this was not very good. And. Uh, I'm afraid this will never be played again in my house. A cool cover and everything, but uh, yeah. No bueno. Then I picked up a reissue of a uh, English thrash metal band. Eccentric Skin. Uh, I've only had this on a uh, promo. Uh, tape before. Uh, not the, of course not the best album. It's actually by far the least favorite album of them. It's not like super bad, it's just um, a bit change in their style and yeah they don't sound as great as they did and as they do now but uh, cool to have it in the collection nevertheless and uh, you know I enjoy listening to this uh, for all time's sake but um, I will play all the other Eccentrics album before this one. I don't know if this were kind of a um, colored variant. You like to watch colors. It's gray marble, that's pretty cool. I'm okay with gray, so... Um, yeah! Music on vinyl, always quality releases, so... Uh, Happy to have it, so then we will end with some uh, black metal. Uh, yeah, can put it out. Don't need to say much about this either. Tara, by absolute their best album. Do have this on promotion CD, normal CD, and picture disc, but I never had it on proper vinyl. Uh, so I uh, just had to have it. I know I have a lot of stuff here, you know, a lot of lyrics and uh, some uh, kind of history or interview. I haven't read that yet, but uh, I will at some point. And it's a very cool poster as well. So yeah, just a uh, killer black metal album. Absolute horror. If you haven't listened to this, go and listen to it, because it's a killer album. Then we have a, another Nocturnal Mortem uh, record, uh, The Taste of uh, Victory. I do think this album has a uh, kind of a Ukrainian version and an English version. This is probably sadly the English one and it has a massive poster. I will try and unfold it. Uh, it's not 
super cool or anything, but it's kind of fitting. Little did I know that this would be a fitting um, album cover, but uh, yeah. Killer, killer uh, black metal, you know. Um, Nocturnal Motum is uh, an absolutely fantastic black metal band from Ukraine, as you know. Black vinyl. Nothing more to show. Then we have uh, the new uh, Het Ratson. Originally this is a uh, Chilean ba band or two of the members of Chile, but they are uh, uh, currently living in uh, Sweden. Uh, this is uh, Phosphorus uh, Volume 1. Phosphorus. Yeah, to kill another killer black metal release. Um, this will be, of course, on my black metal list. Uh, just, yeah, they do deliver quality, thick booklets. Uh, the production on this uh, is kind of uh, the vocals are a bit high in the mix, but that was intentional by the band because the uh, uh, lyrics uh, was important for them. So they kind of had the vocals play a little bit loud over the. Um, music but uh you know have a cool atmosphere and uh, it's kind of an old school you have that atmospheric uh, great atmospheric uh, it's not atmospheric black metal as summoning or anything but it's just this nice chilling um chilling chiller uh black metal so uh if you haven't heard headrests and uh, are into black metal shame on you you are missed out there's the name Go and listen to it. Great album. And uh, since we have this uh, nice outro, we are ending this video with a new Kampfar album. Um, Till uh, Klovner's Takt. Yeah, Kampfar, one of my favorite Norwegian black metal bands. And uh, they deliver quality albums all over. And this is no exception. Great, great stuff. Uh, you know, here's the lyrics, there's nothing fancy about this release, it's just quality Norwegian black metal, as hopefully everybody likes. Uh, do still have those kind of slightly folky elements, but they don't take away the aggressivity, aggressivity on the album. So there was the vinyl finished, and so was this video. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we show us.